Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by biotech company Ireland Pharmaceuticals, ASX code ILA. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Managing Director of Ireland Pharmaceuticals, Dr David Foster. Hi David. Hi there. Okay, so David, I want to get into your current study into the safety of a drug known as ISLA 101 that Ireland Pharmaceuticals is attempting to repurpose to tackle dengue fever not available yet. I know it's still under development and we'll get into that trial in a minute. But firstly, what makes you think this drug might be effective in the final analysis against dengue fever? A great question. It's quite simple. There were a couple of labs that did animal studies looking at dengue infection in animals. One of the studies was done at Harvard, one at Monash. The Monash study actually demonstrated that animals given dengue fever, 70% of the animals survived when they were given ESL 101. It's a very clean experiment demonstrating some molecules effective against the virus. Okay. Now, as I understand it, you're repurposing an existing drug. Why do that firstly? And secondly, what was it originally developed for? So the reason we repurpose the drug is a lot of work has been done by other people already, a lot of the safety work. So the benefit for us is that we get to use that data and jump in basically midstream and carry this molecule into the clinic. In answer to the second question, it was initially developed by J&J as a cancer drug. It's been in 40-plus clinical trials and literally thousands of people already by the time we touched it. Okay, this latest study, what are you hoping for in terms of outcomes and how many people will it involve? So what we're doing is a dose escalation study. We're going to have three cohorts that are going to receive three increasing doses. And what we really want to see is can these folks handle increasing doses of the drug? All right. How big's the market? How many people are diagnosed with dengue fever a year? You know, the World Health Organization estimates that there's about 400 million infections every year. That's a million people infected a day. It's a huge market. And in fact, if you analogize it to the malaria market, the anti-malarials are approaching about a billion dollar market in just a couple of years. So the markets are substantial. And quickly, when do you expect to get some results out of this latest trial? We are expecting results in early Q1 2024. Dr. David Foster from Island Pharmaceuticals, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears. And remember, we're only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney, and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company interviews, go to the Money page on the 6PR, 2GB, 3AW and 4BC websites and click the Public Companies tab.